Welcome back to Little Bits of Lisp. This time we're going to talk about string designators and kind of designators in general. Let's take a function like string equals. We can see that if we pass in different strings, it'll either tell us that they're the same or that they're not um, according to this function. But there's something kind of interesting. When we go to the documentation for this and, and all of these string functions, they take two string designators, not just strings. Um, so let's go and look at what a string designator is. So if you jump over here, we can say a designator for a string. Well, that's helpful. This is an object that denotes a string. Okay, so it's basically one of the following. It's a character, which will, in that case will denote a string with a single uh, letter in it, with a single character in it. Um, it might be a symbol, when the um, string is going to be taken from the symbol's name, or a string it's a regular old string denoting itself. Well, that means in practice is that if we have put C here and we put a character, capital C, it'll compare them and it will say that it's true or, um, whoops, I typed that wrong, um, or it's not. See, that even though this is a character and this is a string, string equals still works in it because string equals works on string designators. Really, the takeaway from this video that I want to get across is that um, when you see designator, look a little deeper because there's something else going on there. Well, that's all we need for now. Catch you in another video.